Hey everybody, it's Barbara and it's time for the Motivational Monday and today I'm going to show you the seven foods that you should be including in your diet to help you burn fat. Everywhere I look, people are looking to lose some weight, but what can be daunting is the idea of going on a diet and overhauling all of your habits all at the same time. Rather than approaching it from that place, why don't you include some of these foods into your diet instead, which can be easy enough to help you control your weight, your appetite, and your cravings. So the first one is not even a food, it's actually a spice, and it is cinnamon. Cinnamon acts like insulin in the body, the hormone that helps you digest carbohydrates, but the hormone, if you have too much of it, can help you store fat in your body and trigger more cravings and a greater appetite. So including cinnamon in your diet can control your insulin response, which in turn can allow you to metabolize carbohydrates more efficiently and slowly, help you fuel yourself longer for a period of time after you've eaten your meal, and help you feel more comfortable and your appetite under control. So including cinnamon in your diet, which you can include on yams, in your oatmeal, and you can even put it in your coffee if you're so inclined, is a great spice to include in your diet to help you burn fat. My personal favorite way of getting cinnamon, I make chai tea every morning and I love it. So cinnamon is number one. So my second favorite food to help you burn fat are eggs. Eggs are an excellent source of protein, and studies show that people who begin their day with eggs have a far greater chance of keeping their appetite under control and their weight down as versus the people who start their day with a carbohydrate-rich breakfast such as cereal. Egg yolks also contain something called lecithin, and lecithin is a nutrient that helps you emulsify fats and break it down into smaller particles, and therefore eliminate them more efficiently. So including eggs in your diet, especially in the morning, can go a long way towards burning fat and keeping your appetite under control, so eggs are number two. Number three are apples. Apples are high in fiber, loaded in vitamins and minerals and great nutrition and they contain a particular type of fiber called pectin which controls the amount of fat that your cells can absorb. Having an apple a day can absolutely keep your weight down, help you control your blood sugar, help you control your appetite and burn fat in the process. So apples are number three. Number four are oats, such as the oats found in oatmeal. So oats contain soluble fiber, which control the amount of cholesterol and fat your body absorbs. So this is fantastic to include in your diet on a regular basis. Because oats are also incredibly high in fiber, they're a great way to keep your insulin level under control. When your insulin levels are under control, your appetite goes down and your cravings go down and you feel full longer. So including oats in your diet on a regular basis would be a great way to keep your weight down, burn fat and keep your appetite under control. So oats are number four. Number five are grapefruits. So grapefruits, again, also control that insulin response in your body. So they're effective in keeping your weight down and burning fat in your system. One word of caution when it comes to grapefruits. If you're on medication, then you need to be careful about including grapefruits into your diet. And if you want to know specifically if grapefruits would impact your medication, you should talk to your doctor or your pharmacist. But if you are not on medication, then including grapefruit in your diet every single day or on a regular basis can help control your insulin response and again, help you burn fat more efficiently. So grapefruits are number five. Number six are pine nuts. So pine nuts contain pinolenic acid, which is an essential fatty acid that allows your body to recognize ghrelin more efficiently. Ghrelin is a hormone that triggers the satiety center and lets your body know that you've had enough to eat. So including pine nuts in your diet are a great way to keep your appetite under control and allow you to feel full faster. Also, there are some studies that show that including pine nuts in your diet can actually reduce belly fat. So I would shoot for about a handful every single day. Number seven, this is again not a food, but in fact it's a tea, and it's green tea. Green tea is a great way to burn fat in your body. They contain an antioxidant called catechins, which allow you to burn fat more efficiently. Studies show that if you drink as many as three cups of green tea a day, you can burn 70 calories a day. Now that might not sound like a lot, but 70 calories shaved off your diet every single day will allow you to lose seven pounds at the end of one year, and that is definitely not bad. So there you have seven fat-burning foods that you can include in your diet beginning today. These foods are not only great for you, but they're going to help you burn fat, keep your weight down, keep your appetite and your cravings under control, and help move you along the spectrum towards your health goals. You don't have to change everything all at once. In fact, studies show that when you try to do that, it doesn't work. Instead, change one little thing and move along from there. So pick one of these foods and start including it into your diet starting today and start noticing 
how you feel and the impact that it has on your body. So there you have another good suggestion to help move you closer to your health goals. If you like tips like this, if you're looking for ways to improve the quality of your diet in order to live the most vibrant, healthy life that you can, then come on over to rootsandseeds.com and sign up for my newsletter. You'll automatically get a video from me or an email from me every week with some tip or suggestion to help move you along on the spectrum of health. If you want to know more about me and my personal practice, then check out barbaramendeznutrition.com. You can follow me on various social media outlets and absolutely leave your comments below. What's your experience when you start your day with eggs as opposed to starting your day with cereal? If you don't know, try it and then get back to me and let me know how it goes. How do you feel when you have an apple with a handful of pine nuts at four o'clock? What happens at dinner? Do you feel as hungry? Try it and let me know. Definitely start including these things into your life. Give me your feedback because I love to hear from you and have an amazing Monday and an awesome week. I'll see you next time. <music>